Alright, you ready? Ready. Three, two, one, action. So today, I'm going bow fishing. Never been bow fishing. Do not know what to expect. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going with a good buddy of mine, Tyler Hale. He's really good. You guys should check out his Instagram. He's got some cool stuff coming. It's called Wake Up Call Bow Fishing. Really cool stuff he's got coming down the pipeline. He's really good at what he does. He's really good at bow fishing, and he's a really good archer as well. So you guys make sure to go f go follow him on his Instagram. He told me that we're not going for quantity, we're going for quality. Looking for some big grassies tonight, some big fish. I might not be getting any sleep tonight because it's like three and a half hours from my house and we probably won't get done until two or three a.m. So I'll be driving back or maybe catching a hotel. I haven't told my wife that yet, so we'll see how she reacts. Either way, we're on the way, we're almost there. About to pull up at Tyler's house here soon. You guys uh, stay tuned for some, some action-packed activities. Hey guys, this is Tyler Hill with Wake Up Call Bow Fishing. We're based out of the West Georgia area. We, what we do is we are actually a bow fishing team and shoot the bow fishing tournaments around Georgia, Alabama, um, pretty much anywhere that we can go and shoot fish. So what we're doing, what we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to be bow fishing on Lake. We're gonna chase after some grass carp and some garden night, take Tyler out, let him try to get his first fish. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be on the airboat that's behind me. We're going out trying to catch fish that are invasive species that are not good for the lake. So we'll be using a bow bow fishing. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll have the lights on the front side of the boat, we'll pull up to them, and if we can get a shot off, we'll shoot them with an arrow and reel them in. So these fish are invasive species, so we're trying to remove them for the lake and improve the habitat for this game fish. We will not be shooting game fish tonight. So it will only be trash fish, which are carp, gar, and so on. But look forward to letting y'all see everything and introduce people to the, new, the sport tonight. For attaching the arrow, we just tie a simple loop in there. And we're tying to the back rather than safety slides. But you've got your hole. It's the way I do it, so it's a quick disconnect. You shoot slap through a fish, go over, twist it, go back over, pull your slack out, and then you're attached. So you got a quick disconnect. So you ain't got to worry about cutting your line and retying every time you shoot through a fish, and your fish is on your line rather than on the arrow. Quick little tip. That's a massive bar, dude. So it's impossible to get the arrow back through the same hole. So what 
what I can do is that I can get a little slack off of it. I can take my loop, I can undo it, and drop them off. Oh, 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 You got one? Yeah. Yeah, I got one. What too. the hell? I'm trying to get mine out under the boat. Jacob wouldn't do the gas. It's right there. It's right there on the other side of the barrel. But you stoned him, kind of. That's a big son of a Mine's bigger than that one. I don't know if mine's still on or not. I don't know. I'll pull the boat over there. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Tyler, I just want to let you know this is our best night we've ever had on grass. Really? You picked the perfect time to come. Awesome.
Yeah, two of them. Two of them. Video of them. I got my GoPro on. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, he is. He's right there. Look, you see him right there? Yeah. You got your GoPro. I do. Oh my gosh. That's a legal one. That's a that's like a freaking 10, 10 footer or a 12 footer. He's right. How much is jumping in now? You couldn't pay me a million dollars. Not enough money in the world. Bro, I can't believe we got that on film. That was huge. That was crazy, he was swimming along with us too. He's kind of camera shot. And we're gonna run back to the original spot. All right. So we're right there at the boat ramp. We're gonna check that one more time. And if we don't get on anything, let's head out. Yeah. So tonight we were out chasing grassies, like I said earlier at the beginning of the video. And so the important reason for us to chase grassies is most grassies are not a native fish and they're not, they don't like breed and hatch everything. So what these grassies do, they're introduced to the lake, they drop them in and add them to control the grass in the lake. But the problem is, is once they get to a certain size, they don't really eat the grass anymore. They start eating fish eggs and just causing problems digging into people's seawalls and causing issues with the lake and areas around it. So important, it's important just like any natural resource that we have to be stewards of it and take care and make sure that it's there for the next generation. So this is a good part of conservation, removing these grass carp and getting the big ones out that are causing problems or will cause problems in the future. Thank y'all for watching. Well, it is the next morning, 6.30 a.m. I have not gone to sleep. I actually just got home. We fished until about 2 a.m. in the morning. It was like a two hour and 15 minute drive back to Tyler's house, another hour and 15 minute drive back to my house. So it's literally 6.30 in the morning right now. Just got home. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I think it's really cool. Uh, first experience bow fishing. I didn't get a, you know, I didn't get a fish only shot took three shots and they're all on gar and gar are really skinny and i don't really have the uh technique down yet where to aim and all that good stuff i was low every time i was aiming low i aimed a little too low but i think we're going to go back i think this is something i could see myself doing in the future and i enjoyed it and i think you know maybe me and tyler are going to link back up in a couple months i'm tired i'm trying to think about what to talk about I can't even think right now, so I'm just going to go in, take a shower, and go to sleep.